All right, well, uh, we've got approximately seven returning All-Americans, and we've got a couple other national qualifiers, but starting at 125-pounders, senior Connor Bowen of Central City. National qualifier last year, went one and two at the national tournament, so we're looking for a strong year out of that young man. Uh, been a big part of our program the last couple years, so we're excited about what, what he's going to do his senior year. 133 pounds, Daniel DeShazer three-time national finalist, two-time national champ, and uh, has just been really focused and, and continues to work hard for us, and so we're excited to see where he ends up. You know, possibly could be our first three-time Division II national champion. So he's got some big plans for himself, and I know we're excited to see where things finish for him. 141 pounds, we return uh, sophomore uh, Keith Serber. Uh, who came to us last year, finished fifth in the nation, and so we're we're looking for some big things out of him. Obviously, he had a couple guys in front of him that graduated this year, and so we are, we're hoping to see him move up a little bit. Um, and and honestly, I don't feel like we've seen what he's capable of doing yet either. So I think he's uh, really focused and, and driven right now, and I think he's going to do well. At 149 pound, we returned Destin McCauley, who finished third last year. He's a junior this year. And uh, Destin, I tell you what, just a dynamite talent. And again, kind of like Keith Serber, really focused right now, doing well for us. And so uh, we see him factoring into the mix of things. Possibly, you know, getting into the national finals this year would be a wonderful thing. 157 pounds, Chase White. Uh, Lincoln, Nebraska product. Uh, Chase was a national national qualifier and All-American as, as a freshman. And last couple years, uh, one year he didn't make it to nationals. Last year he was a match out from placing. And uh, you know, again, this young man is just tremendously you know athletic ability. And, and on any given day, he could do some dynamite things. Unfortunately, last couple years he's kind of kind of gotten injured a couple times, and it's kind of really set him back where he missed most of the most of the season. And so we're looking forward to seeing him get get on track and, and have a good year. Hopefully, stays away from getting injured. Um, 165 pounds, Devin Aguirre, who finished uh, fourth in the nation for us last year. Devin was with us last year for the first time. He was a two-time junior college national champ that transferred here, and um, really kind of got off to a strong start. Kind of sputtered a little bit mid-season and, and lost several duels and I know he was kind of frustrated but then all of a sudden at the end of the season he just turned it on um, I believe he got second at the regional championships last year uh, to the young man who went on to win the national title and and really put together a strong performance at nationals and he's a senior this year also so we're looking for some big things out of him uh, 197 uh, we've got returning um, All-American Romero Cotton and he's a three-time national finalist two-time national champ and it always seems like every year he has some really close and exciting matches at the national tournament, but uh, he's also a bit, been a big factor and a big part of this program the last few years, and so we're hoping to see him continue his winning ways as well. And then at heavyweight, we actually we have a, a young freshman that's out of Susanville, California. His name's uh, uh, Peterson, Luke Peterson, who's big body and, and really pretty athletic. We also have returning to semester time Kevin Barrett from our 2012 national championship team. That year he was a freshman and finished fourth in the nation for us. So, so we're looking to see him kind of add into the mix there, there as well. But we've got a, a very talented group of young men and I think they're all seniors except for three of them. And so um, got a lot of experience and so we're hoping to continue our, our ways that we've been doing. So um, in my double A's, obviously got some very formidable opponent, a formidable opponents, and uh, I think that you know we're going to be challenged just like we were last year. I know Lyndon Wood really handed it to us last year in our one of our final duels of the year, and uh, they're they're always reloading. Central Oklahoma's always got some super talented young men, and and Fort Hayes even. I mean, there's just some teams out there that just have some very talented young men that are going to push us. And so, uh, you know, for us, our focus is really just stay focused on ourselves and. You know, we want our guys to make sure they're doing the right things. They're they're staying focused on their studies and their and their their extra workouts and the things that are going to help them perform well. Uh, we actually host two big events. Uh, November 21st is our first big event. It's our open tournament. We normally generate about 500 student athletes from about. 20 different schools here in the Midwest. We'll draw, you know, attract a few Division One kids as well, and so a very, very uh, talented group of, of individuals that come and compete at it. We do have an amateur and elite division, so our younger kids can wrestle some kids more their age, and we have an open division, an elite division that typically has more of your veterans and, and 
young men that have been around the block a few times. Um, but that's a, a great place for us to start the year off. And then you know, the third week of January, we started some duels about four years ago. This is about our fourth year, and it's called the Midwest Duels, we call it. Both of these events are held at the fairgrounds. Uh, but this year we have about uh, 40 colleges coming in, uh, Division uh, NAI, Junior College, Division II, um, and the day that we wrestle on the on the 16th, which is a Saturday, there's actually 16 Division II teams coming in, and most every school is going to be picking up four duels in that. It's not necessarily a, a championship format, but every team that comes in actually gets four duels. So, so that'll be a big, bit, big event for us. And then home duels. We only have three home duels this year, but two days before our duels out at the fairgrounds, uh, on January 14th, we will duel Central Oklahoma. Uh, here at UNK and so that's obviously a, a big challenge for us every year. Coach James does a phenomenal job training his guys and they're always prepared to compete with us so we're looking forward to that. And then not until January 30th we have Newman and then February 6th right here at home we have Lindenwood University which again that'll be a big challenge for us as well.